It's a beautiful day and we're back on the nice girl subreddit. Something tells me it's going to be amazing. Or maybe I'm delusional and we all know that it's going to be terrifying. Either way, I hope you have a wonderful time. It is important that you look just as amazing as me, Instagram and Facebook. Think about the social media backlash, lol. My bad. And the title says, we matched on Hinge and these were the first two minutes. I'm calling you right now. Oh my god. Okay, die. That's fine. But I have generalized anxiety disorder and you can answer a phone call. Call me now. Right now. Call me. Yeah, you're too weak for me. Don't hit me up. Yeah, so I'm very confused. Looks like you matched on cringe. I don't understand how this is the first two minutes of talking to someone. How can all of this happen so fast? Same. I want a rich husband who works a lot to make money, but he's also home and always spends time with me, but also hates kids, but he's also nice to them and a good dad, and who's hot AF but loyal, and who's a preppy boy who has maids cook, but still makes me breakfast in bed, and who allows me to cheat, but acts like we're soulmates. Yeah, like the top comment says, is sarcasm or insanity? Yeah, I don't know, but it's super revolting. Like, you have to be rich and hot and loyal and make me breakfast in bed and have a maid who cooks, but you need to let me cheat on you. Like, I'm sure they're being sarcastic, but even if they are being sarcastic, that's so gross. Nice Girl complains on a GAG post as to why her crush is dating an ugly Asian chick instead of her quote-unquote hot as hell. I'm so not ready for this. Why is this cute boy dating an ugly a girl. I've been friends with my crush for a long time. I've known him since my first semester at college. He takes engineering, so I don't see him all the time. I'm hot as hell, and I have lots of guys chasing after me. I've had the horizontal mumbo too many times last year. It got boring. The only guy I can't get is my crush. He always dates ugly girls. Like, there's this one ugly Asian chick which he met in linear algebra. Yeah, I stalked that he's dating. I don't understand why. He's awesome and very handsome and deserves a hot girl, but only dates ugly ones? Why would he even date an Asian girl when we white girls are so much hotter? Oh god, why doesn't he realise that he deserves better and that I want him? And what, you think somebody who says stuff like this is better? I flirt with him and touch him, but he rejects all my advances. I don't know why ugly girls even think they have a chance with him. It's disgusting to be honest. No, this is disgusting. So this is me, and this is her. As you can tell, she isn't a match for an average white girl, let alone a looker like me. The whole idea that he's giving her more attention than me is so frustrating and anxiety inducing. I want him to know that he should go for me instead. Is he just shy to talk to much prettier girls so he has to settle for trash looking ones? What are you talking about? Is he just shy to talk to much prettier girls? And they put up a poll and says I'm hotter or she's hotter and 80% of people said she's hotter. But yeah, whether or not they're hot or not isn't the point. It doesn't matter how hot you are if you have a repulsive attitude. Literally the least hot thing of all time. <laughs> Genuinely the opposite of hot. How do you even say stuff like this without realizing how awful it is? This is what I crave. This is what I want and this is why I can't. I'm you know whatable but not lovable. I'm wifey material but I'm making you face your problems and you can't handle them. So you sleep with me and you go. I can't be the good one anymore. This era is over. I'm entering my evil I don't give a frick era. Hashtag screw love. Hashtag evil queen. And hashtag I don't give an F. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so done being the nice guy. Time to be a bad boy. This is the exact same as that. If you're a guy and you're in a relationship, don't do these things. Don't do the solo diddly, period. Because if you do, you'll just make your girlfriend feel like she isn't good enough. And also, don't ignore your girlfriend's existence. As Especially when she's had a bad day, if she comes home. Okay, so I feel like the first one is definitely not something that you can just put on every relationship ever. And the second one is just common sense. Don't ignore your girlfriend's existence. Yeah, that makes sense. I still can't believe Carly had the audacity to get mad that Sam and Freddy kissed, like she didn't curve him for three years straight. I remember reading this when I first started my YouTube channel, which by the way, don't watch my old videos, they're so bad. Even my recent 
recent videos are kinda bad. I was watching them the other day and I talk so weird. And looking back, I have no idea why. A girl was giving me a death glare when I walked by her and her boyfriend's table a minute ago. Lol, what happened? Probably mad that her man was looking. She got a flat butt because she's B. Archie. God blessed me because I'm a nice person. Maybe she just looked at you because you were walking by. She probably wasn't even consciously thinking about you. Nah, you weren't there. She was hating. Yeah, they probably weren't. <laughs> I can't believe they insulted them and then said, God bless me because I'm a nice person. Oh my God, that's amazing. It's going good. Just been working and everything. So I was wondering if you wanted to maybe grab a drink downtown, maybe next week. Sorry, I'm just not too comfy meeting up with someone 11 years older. Okay, well, what the frick? Whatever, bye, Biarch. Wow, that's messed up. I'm stuck on the way that they spelt next. N-E-X-S-T. Like when you say the word, it kind of sounds like you could spell it like that. Sorry, but that's so interesting. Are you trying to do the boomerang? What's a boomerang? And they're saying crying emojis. Are you from so-and-so? I've never seen you around. If I see you around the community, say hi. Just kidding. Filthy S word. Laughing my ass off. Salty like the sea. Happy New Year. How did that even happen? I've never seen you around. If I see you around the community, I'll say hi. How does it go from that to calling them a filthy S word? How does it go from that to calling them a filthy S word? You should be grateful I hit you up. You're blessed now. Yeah, okay. So you immediately shouldn't respond. <laughs> That's such an unbelievable thing to say. You call giving me a headache and annoying me a blessing? You should always thank Allah for your blessings me before he takes them away says the girl in my DM why is your beard ginger ask Allah you're staring at my pictures and videos again huh that's cute just ticking off my criteria weirdo too conceited why did this conversation even happen like we read some unnecessary conversations but that was something else why do men avoid eye contact been wondering why guys I know like me won't look at me in case you fall in love with me and embarrass yourself yeah he ain't lying. King energy. This is the exact reason I don't make eye contact with anyone. Lol. Not a problem for me personally. I've got no problem getting guys. I'm told I'm very attractive almost daily. So I don't know if that's the case for myself because they all know that I have plenty of options. And commitment issues. Lol. Oh okay. <laughs> Where did that come from? Hell yes. An opportunity for me to brag about myself. As a pretty girl, how do I force myself to be nice to ugly? looking girls. What the hell? You've got problems. Don't force yourself. It's not like they need you. Wow, that's such a good response. Oh, I'm sad, guys, because that's all the nice girl posts that we have for today. I'll make a new video as soon as possible. That was so fun, though. I'll make a new video as soon as possible. I just heard my mum say, you are very naughty, and then a meow, and then another softer, okay, but next time there will be consequences, and then another meow, and then a, you're right, probably not. That's so beautiful. Yeah, you're right. There's probably not going to be any consequences. I love you so much. Cats are so beautiful. Are you cold? Uh, a little bit. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that so much and I want it. I know I'm in a puffer jacket as we speak, but I wish I was in a huge puffer jacket. That looks so unbelievably cozy. I'm going to buy a bigger puffer jacket and I'll report back to you guys. Throw back to when my dad forgot that I'm a doctor. Where where are you? Hospital? I study and work here. And they send a thumbs up, which is the most dad response ever. Like, oh yeah, I forgot you work in the hospital. Amazing work. When you're in the shower and you become Spider-Man. That is a very beautiful feeling. And also when you put your arm like this and it streams off the bottom. Good times. That was such a fun video. I hope you had a great time, guys. The comment of the day goes to Kevin Potts. Late night may not be good time to visit nice guys, but any time of day is good time for Vincy. Oh, Kevin, you absolute legend. Thank you so much. Your support means a lot to me. I really appreciate that. But yeah, that's right. It's always a good time for a video. I'll literally be sitting around and I'll be like, oh, it's a good time to make a YouTube video. So I 100% know what you mean. And yeah, with that being said, let's do it all again tomorrow. Have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye! <laughs>